So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a mini me uh, in Photoshop. This means we're going to create a smaller person and put it into a bigger person um, image as such. So this is going to be the image that I put the smaller version of this person into. And this is obviously the image that I'm going to scale down and put into the other one. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to cut out the person in this image and we're going to do that by using the quick selection tool. Now when I've taken this image I've made sure that I've used a really clear background that doesn't have a lot of information uh, in the pixels so it's really easy to cut out. When you select the quick selection tool you need to make sure that it's um, selected on new selection and you can adjust the size of the brush um, up here as well. So I'm just going to increase that a bit and then I'm going to just click and uh, keep selecting different areas and because I've taken a picture that has not much information on the background it's been quite easy. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make sure that I haven't missed a finger or anything. No, that's fine. And zoom back out. All looking good. So all I'm going to do is hit Command X or Control X if you're using a PC and that's going to cut out that information and you'll see now we're left with just the background. I'm then going to create, um, then I'm going to switch over to our layer that has the bigger person in it and I'm just going to paste that in, so Command V. And now I've got this bigger image here that does have some information that we still need to get um, rid of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quick selection tool to get rid of um, the information here in the middle of her arm and her hand. And again, Command X and get rid gets rid of most of that. Um, obviously, this is isn't going to be perfect and you can see that there's bits of white left especially near the fingers and around the side so you can clean that up uh, using the eraser tool. I'm going to use a soft edge eraser tool um, and a definitely a smaller size than that and you'll see that that can get rid of a lot of that information as well especially around the hair here. You'll notice that I'm not going actually on the hair but going next to the hair um, and that way it doesn't look like you're cutting out a lot of the pixels it looks a lot smoother. So what you would do, you would go through your entire image and make sure that all that information that's left over that you don't want um, is no longer there. And I keep adjusting and zooming in to make sure I'm getting all the bits I want. I'm just going to make sure I get this bit for the purpose of this video to make sure it doesn't look so obvious. Um, but you would spend the time to make sure um, all those bits are actually gone and especially like down here where the hair is um, doesn't look all that great I'll just get rid of it for now but like I said you would take the time to make sure this looks really clean but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to leave that how it is. The next thing um, I need to do is resize that photo and you'll see that, that this has come up as a separate layer above the background layer and what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift on the keyboard to make sure our image stays in proportion and reduce it to the size that we want to actually work with. And I'm going to make mine pretty small so it looks like she's shouting up into her ear. So I might leave it there and see how that goes. That's probably still too big. Um, we might make it down to there. So what I'll do, I'll zoom in so we can see and because of the way her hand is positioned, um, we're not going to see all of her feet because she'd be sitting in the middle part of the palm um, and the other part of the hand actually cuts it off. So I think that's probably um, a realistic position. So she looks like she's talking into the ear. And once I'm happy with that resizing and repositioning, I just need to hit um, enter and you'll see that the image is there. Like I said before, if you clean this up a bit more, you won't see that outline, that white outline that you can see at the moment using the eraser tool um, is a pretty effective way of doing so. So what we need to do now is actually use the eraser, uh, eraser tool to make sure it looks like we're actually um, not standing on a weird part of the hand because it doesn't look all that realistic at the moment. So I'm going to change the size of my brush. I'm going to um, make it a bit bigger, 30 looks about alright and I'm going to make sure it's got a hard edge because it's not going to work if it's um, a more softer edge because it looks like she's kind of disappearing into hand rather than actually standing in the middle. So I'm just going to get rid of 
all the pixels up to the point of where the hand is. And I'm going to zoom in again and clicking on those. That's looking pretty good there. And also on this bit here. And it looks like she's sitting, standing on the back part of the palm there. The only problem so far with this image is that there's a different colour balance between the original photo I took and the photo on the, uh, the other photo on display. So what I'm going to do is making sure layer one is selected. I'm going to go up to image, adjustments and click on colour balance. And I'm going to increase the yellows and the reds in the mid-tones to start off with um, and maybe also maybe increase it slightly or maybe not, um, maybe increase the yellows a little bit and also maybe in the shadows a tiny bit to make sure it's blending in. And also if that's not working and that still doesn't look quite right, you can then go to the adjustments and change the levels of your photo to make sure it matches up or doesn't match up if it, however it is that you're going to edit it. So it is going to be dependent on the photos that you originally had to make sure it looks like it works. But once you're happy with all that, uh, all you need to do is zoom out, just check that it looks all good, which it does. And then you're going to just go to file, save as, and save it as a JPEG file. Rename it to whatever it, um, you want to rename it to and make sure it's selected to JPEG format. If you wanna keep working on that file or save that file for later to keep going, you obviously change it to a Photoshop, which will retain all the lay information and things that you've done. Press save, make sure it's selected to maximum and quality is at 12. It will also give you a preview over here of how big a file that is going to be. Press okay, and then your photo is saved.